There's a story of an old man who was just going from one place to another. He was already more than a hundred years old. And he would preach one topic, and it was this, love one another as I have loved you. A young man approached this elderly bishop and challenged him, saying, why is it that that's the only thing you preach on? The elderly bishop, holding his ground, said, because if we can live out the challenging gospel of love, then we will have lived out the totality of the gospel, which is to love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, as well as to love our neighbor as ourselves. The last and greatest commandment of Jesus Christ was, love one another as I loved you. By the way, according to tradition, that elderly man was St. John the Evangelist, whose feast day we celebrate every year, two days after Christmas, December 27th. St. John the Evangelist, much can be said about him. Jesus called him away from his fishing business because he was a fisherman to be a fisher of men. He left his nets, he left his boat to follow Jesus Christ, to collaborate with Jesus in the enterprise of saving souls. Another point about John the Evangelist is that he wrote got the fourth gospel, which is much different than the other gospels, which are called the synoptics, which means there's a certain likeness. We only find in the Gospel of John the wedding feast of Cana, where Jesus does his first public miracle by turning water into wine, but that was, this was done through the intercession of Mary. So in John's Gospel, we see the presence of Mary there, but also we see the presence of Mary there underneath the cross. In John the Evangelist, he was underneath the cross with Mary. He was the only apostle that was faithful there underneath the cross with Mary during the crucifixion and death of Christ. And Christ said, to Mary and John, he said, Woman, behold thy son. Son, behold thy mother. From that moment, the beloved disciple took Mary into his home, which means not only the physical home, but John took Mary into his heart. So let's ask St. John the Evangelist for this grace, a great love for Mary. But let's also ask John the Evangelist, St. John the Evangelist, for a deepening friendship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Indeed, Jesus is the friend that will never fail us. Amen.